Hey Gigabyte fans, welcome back. My name's Leon and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of our gaming motherboard. Now this gaming motherboard is the Z170 MX Gaming 5. The Z170 represents that we're using the newest 100 series chipset. The M at the end of that represents it's a micro ATX board and this is our Gaming 5 version. So let's go over the outside of the box and then we'll take everything out to show you the different accessories that come with it. And then we'll go over the board to show in detail some of the technologies on the board. <clears throat> so right here you can actually see, like I mentioned, it's using an Intel Z170 chipset uh, on the board. It supports DDR4 as well as the new USB Type-C connector and for that USB 3.1. Now this board's a little bit cool. It has a little flap that we can actually open and you can see the board, a zoomed in picture of the board and the chipset, as well as the layout of the board overall right here. But we're gonna give you something better. We're gonna show you the actual board. So let's swing this around to the back to go over some of the features and then we'll take everything out. <clears throat> so again, this board has the USB 3.1 capabilities on it. We're using an extreme version because USB 3.1 actually only supports up to 10 gigabits transfer. Uh, that's the bandwidth that it's able to support. For our board, it will su support up to 16 gigabits uh, of bandwidth, but only 10 will ne be needed. But it gives you that boost just in case you need it. We also have the exclusive uh, gigabyte audio amp up technology. The fact that it's a gaming board, it'll have a lot of audio features as well as networking features. And so we're using a killer ethernet, and this is also a gigabit ethernet as well. We have audio, audio op amps, specialized audio capacitors, as well as an audio LED trace path or noise guard. On this board, we've also included USB DAC ups or a digital analog converter for the USB port, and we'll talk about that when we look at the rear IO. We're using long life solid capacitors, as well as it does support next generation form factors for storage such as PCIe M.2. So this one's a PCIe by 4 M.2. We also have the Turbo B clock for those of you gamers that like to overclock their system for better performance. And then of course the exclusive one piece metal shielding from Gigabyte. All right, so I'm gonna take out all the components and lay it out in front of me and then we'll talk about the board in a few minutes. All right, now that we have all the accessories laid out in from front of us, let's go over all of them. So we have a user's manual for you, a multilingual installation guide, and of course the driver disc. So when you're installing your Windows OS, we have a gaming G1 or G1 gaming badge that you can stick on top of your case. Four SATA connectors, two being right angle connectors and another two being straight connectors. An SLI bridge, as well as a padded rear I.O. and a G connector. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with the G connector, feel free to check out some of our other videos such as our Z170X Gaming G1 unboxing and overview where we go over a little bit more detail of how this connector can help you during your installation of your new PC. All right, let's get these out of the way and we'll talk about the motherboard. So right here, as we mentioned before, this motherboard is a micro ATX motherboard. And for such a small motherboard, it's actually packed with a lot of features. Again, we said it supports DDR4. And this DDR DIMM slot actually supports a one-sided locking mechanism. So you don't need a lock on the bottom. You only need to push that DIMM all the way down and lock at the top. We have fan pin headers, your standard ATX24 power, you have two USB 3.0 connectors, which give you a total of four front panel USB 3.0s. We have six SATA ports right here on the side, and all of these are coming straight from the chipset. And with the six SATA ports, you, have, you can choose between the six SATA ports or either three SATA Express ports. So each of these are actually SATA Express ports when you're looking at it. We have our front panel headers right here, and this is where that G connector is gonna come into place. Uh, it helps you organize as well as to connect all of your pin headers before you connect it to the board. We have another set of fan pin headers. 
we have two USB 2.0 pin headers right here, a TPM pin header, a COM, the COM pin headers, and then a different pin header. This one's actually, it's labeled as THB underscore C. Now this pin header is actually, it gives you the capability of putting Thunderbolt, th uh, Thunderbolt onto your board. Next to that, we have a little chip that might look like a BIOS chip to some of you, but this is actually our op amp. Now this op amp is removable and you can upgrade it with various op amps that you find out in the market. A lot of high-end receivers have these and if you wanna change your audio characteristics to have more of a bass or a higher tone, you can do that by changing this chip. Right next to that, we have our front panel audio pin headers, is a front panel audio connector. And then we also have dip switches. Now what these dip switches do, does, it allows you to change your gain from a 2.5X to a 6X. Being that it's very focused, uh, this gaming board is focused on audio and networking, you're gonna find a lot of audio features on this board. So just like we mentioned on the audio features, it's using special audio capacitors that perform very well in that environment. And it's also using our Gigabyte exclusive amp up audio technology with, which includes a noise guard or trace path lighting. Now, of course, this board is also meant for gaming. So with gaming, everyone's focused on graphics. This board supports multi-graphic support, but on the PCI Express slots, you guys might see something that you guys haven't seen before. These slots actually have a one-piece metal shielding, which provides two, two things for the board. It provides support for heavier graphics cards that are slotted in, but also provi providing um, increased protection from any possible ESD interference from the card to the board or the board to the card as their grounding points at the end of these one-piece metal shielded slots. We also have the M.2 slot, which this is for next generation form factors of storage, if you guys aren't familiar with it. And we have it uh, in a 22 by 42 or 60 or 80 length. So you can use different size lengths M.2s uh, to get your storage needs uh, completed. Like we mentioned earlier, it's using a killer ethernet, uh, killer ethernet so it has a gig E LAN right there. You have another set of pin fan pin headers right here and your eight pin CPU fan connectors. Moving to that rear IO, you can actually see all of the all of the audio jacks are gold plated. We have five audio jacks along with a SPDIF port. We have your gig E killer NIC. We have one, two, three, four USB 3.0s, but this red one's a little bit di different. This red USB port is actually a standard A, and the reason why it's red is it's actually wired to our USB 3.1 signal. So for those of you that want to use the next generation USB technology, this board supports your, your new type C connector, as well as your traditional standard A connector. We also have the gold plated HDMI port, a DVI-D, as well as a VGA, and two yellow USB 2.0 ports and a PS2. Now, the two yellow P, uh, USB ports represents the USB DAC that we were mentioning, mentioning earlier, where the power grid for these two ports are separate from the rest of the board. So it provides for a more stable power source, and you can actually disable the power for these two ports in the BIOS. So if you wanna connect an externally powered DAC or anything that runs its own power, you can actually connect to these two ports. Now a lot of gamers like to use these ports for gaming as well because it has a clean signal and it has less interference. Overall, this is what you'll find with our Z170 MX gaming board. If you guys are interested in finding out any more information about Gigabyte boards, I have some right here to my left and you can click on the links or you can search our Gigabyte page. If you like what you saw today, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave some comments below. We love to hear back from you guys, and we'll see you guys next time.